I really want you to master Jira workflows and that is why I'm creating these videos just focusing on the workflows because I believe that if you can understand how Jira workflows work, you can do a lot of things really easily. And there are a few aspects of workflows which are not commonly used um, although you can read the documentation and you can learn a lot about uh, these advanced workflow techniques and in this video I just want to talk about one such uh, specific technique uh, using properties so I will first explain what I'm going to do using uh, properties and then of course we'll uh, We'll uh, take a look at uh, how to implement it and a way to implement it. So let us say you're working on an issue. And when you're working on uh, any issue in Jira, you have a workflow, of course. So if you take a look at this workflow, right now I'm looking at one incident, uh, but it could be any issue in Jira or Jira software or Jira service desk. So when you resolve, let us say, um, when you resolve or close an issue, you may have some transition screen. So in this particular case, I have this uh, transition called resolve. If I click on it, it will ask me to fill up the resolution. Now my requirement is, I want this resolution field to not display these five items i just want to display let us say done or won't do because for my project only these top two one ones are relevant not the remaining one especially when you have a jira instance uh, where you have multiple or more than more resolutions than you need users can be a bit confused when uh, resolving the issues and of course it it also means that uh, they will select something wrong or maybe your reports will get uh, um, will get wrong data. So let us fix this today. And for doing this, we need to focus on the transition. So if I open the workflow again, the workflow that I was uh, looking at is this one. From open state, I have a transition called resolve, which is going to complete its, uh, complete its state where I am basically asking the user to select the resolution and uh, for going to the workflow I'll go to the project settings and then I'll uh, click on the workflow so I'm sure you know about the um, how you can modify the workflow but uh, we have to basically add a property so the workflow which is uh, applicable here is the incident workflow so I'll modify the workflow and as a good practice or if you know what you're doing, just make sure that this workflow is not really shared by other projects. Even if it is shared, then make sure this change is applicable to those projects because workflows can be shared. So the workflows that we want to, the, the, the workflow transition that, that we want to modify is this one from open state to the completed state. And you basically have to work on uh, the transition property. So if you click on the property here, properties here, you will get an option here to basically add uh, a property. And this property is a very important uh, aspect here because using this uh, transition property, you can set what resolutions you want to include or you want to exclude. So if you want to include a resolution, or specific resolutions, you can basically enter something like this, like jira.field.resolution.include, or you can do dot .exclude. So this is of course the name of the property, and uh, you basically have to prop uh, to pro you, you basically have to provide the value of that particular uh, uh, property, which in this case is nothing but the resolution ID. Now. If you want to include the resolution IDs, you just need to provide here the comma separated uh, values 
of uh, the resolution IDs. So you can find the, the resolution IDs if you go to the Jira admin and if you go to issues and if you go to the resolutions, you can see here that you have all the resolutions that you have defined in the project or not project, sorry, in your Jira instance. And if you hover your mouse on top of edit, you can see that I, in my case, I want to include only done and uh, want do, for example. Uh, the the resolution IDs are 10,000 and 10,001. So let us go back to the to the uh, transition property and add this transition uh, pro property here. So of course, uh, when you add a new transition property here, you can uh, then click on, click on this uh, workflow again, the the property uh, that you added is now added. You can always uh, click on this uh, this transition and you can see here that uh, you do have this uh, property here, which is now displayed. Like you can see that how many properties are defined. So you have in this case uh, one property. So we have added this property and of course we also have a transition screen because uh, you want to capture the resolution. So let us publish this and uh, let us verify. I don't really want to save the backup because I'm, I know what I'm doing. Let us see if it works. Um, so basically what I wanted to do now is I wanted to just uh, resolve the issue and I want to see if uh, the, if the resolutions are working. So as you can see here that you have only done and want do visible. You can do the opposite. Let us say if you want to just exclude exclude these two. So you can always go back to the to the workflow. Let us modify the workflow and let us do the ex the exact opposite of uh, of what we just did. So I'll modify the same transition and I'll cl click on the properties and uh, instead of uh, instead of uh, basically uh, including these two properties, I need to now ex exclude them. And one thing that you need to be aware of is that when you are uh, working on these properties, you can't just, you need to basically get rid of, uh, delete the old one and add a new one in case you want to modify. So just remove the old one. And uh, now it says uh, jira.field.resolution.exclude. And by the way, if you're wondering uh, about these uh, property names and the value, the key value pair that you have to define here, you can always search on Google advanced Jira workflow and you will uh, basically, or you can search for workflow properties Jira. You, you will you will find, it, find a page where you can uh, understand how it works. So now we have added a new property, which is doing the exact opposite. It, it is excluding done and won't do. I'll pub publish the workflow that we just modified. We'll go back to the project and uh, let us see if we have the new property affecting the available resolution in the resolution uh, field. And yes, that is definitely uh, working fine. So I'm creating these uh, videos, of course, very short videos, but extremely important uh, videos on these advanced workflow uh, techniques using properties. And of course, I, I have been talking about, I, I made few videos already on conditions. Um, and uh, I want to cover this, th this particular part uh, uh, in, uh, in detail. Al although everything is mentioned on the, on the documentation, if you go to Atlassian's official documentation, you can, f you can find each and everything. But I think uh, when you see th these things, um, in action, when you see how I did it, I hope it will also help you. And you can also learn it easily. And that is, that is my intention. So I hope you enjoyed watching uh, today's video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.